Well, buddy, I hope you have the greatest space adventure ever. Stay safe out there. Go for main engine start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff. Let's go. All engines are functioning normally. Prepare for stage one separation. Nova, can you please update us on our mission to the moon? Absolutely. As you may know, we have three beta stage prototype teleporters. Stage two separation. One is located on Earth and another is on the moon. Currently, the moon teleporter is offline. Our main goal is to repair the moon teleporter. The third teleporter is about 300 light years away from Earth, located near a newly discovered planet, SC-57M, aka Paracoolo Terra, meaning dangerous land. We think this planet has very unusual flora, but we're not sure. Prepare for landing. How did you deploy the third teleporter so far away from Earth? Using the power of our existing Earth and Moon teleporters, we were able to teleport the third machine about 300 light years away from Earth. All three teleporters can communicate with each other. Well, could. After deploying our third teleporter near SC-57M, our Moon teleporter broke down. That's why we're here to fix it. Okay, team. It appears the teleporter has sustained some minor damage and is missing some parts. Let's spread out and look for them. Found one! Got you! I just located one. I found one too. I'll meet you at the teleporter. Located all the parts, but we're still missing the fuel cell. Without it, the teleporter won't power on. I've got you. Continue looking. Wow, this crater is massive. Nash, I've detected the power cell. It appears to be damaged. Hold on, Ray. I'm coming your way. It appears the fuel cell has sustained some damage. I'm detecting excessive overvoltage. Let's get back to the guys. Nova will have to look at it. Hmm, it appears the cell has stabilized. Stay back! <sighs> I think we're done. Now we can safely teleport back to Earth. Oh no! Get back now! Get back! The fuel cell is still malfunctioning! Get back! Help me! Help! Sunny, hold on! Help Sunny. It appears Sunny was teleported to SC-57M through the third teleporter. 
I believe the energy spike in the power cell is what activated the third teleporter. Ray, based on your calculations, what's our best strategy? We must reboot the teleporter and reinstall the power cell. Once it turns red due to overvoltage, we'll have a small window to teleport to SC-57M and land on it. I believe Sunny is on that planet too. Unfortunately, someone must stay here on the moon just in case this teleporter malfunctions again. Otherwise, we'll be stuck on SC-57M forever. It's 300 light years away, and there is no way we can just fly from SC-57M back to Earth. Nice. Okay, let's get to work and not waste time. Artie, Nash, and Ray, you're going to teleport and find Sunny. I'm staying here since I'm more familiar with this machine. I'm gonna keep it online for as long as I can. Good luck, guys. Successfully. <coughs> Ray, can you scan the area? As you know, we're on SC 57M, also known as Dangerous Land. It's five times larger than Earth. My system has detected five different zones just within a 100 mile radius. Each zone has its own unique environment. What about Sunny and the teleporter? The teleporter sustained some serious damage and broke up into approximately five to seven pieces within a 100 mile radius. We're entering zone one. Power cell is located in zone five, the most dangerous zone. I believe that's where Sunny crash landed. I've detected one of the teleporter's parts. Be careful. I think these plants are dangerous. I don't think they're dangerous at all. Look out, Nash! Thanks, Arden. I have to be quick to get it. Slime, Ray. It appears to be a very sticky plant slime. Be careful. Oh no! Go, Ray, go! Now 
Entering zone two. This planet is too dangerous! Ah! What are these spheres? Look! There's another teleporter part on one of the spheres! Try to get it, Arden. I don't know. Turn your engine full thrust. Entering zone three. Geysers, be careful, Arden. There's a teleporter piece on one of the platforms. We're in zone four. Be very careful. It appears that approximately every minute, these organic crystals discharge a large amount of energy. Stop right now. Why do we have to stop? This discharge only affects moving targets. These crystals are safe to pick up as long as you don't move during a discharge. I've detected the power cell in Sunny in Zone 5. We must hurry. My sensors are picking up volcanic activity. We're entering Zone 5. Be careful. We're surrounded by hot magma. Sunny! 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 Oh, guys. Thank you for coming to rescue me. No problem, Sunny. The fuel cell fell over there. It's about 500 feet away from us. So this was you guys. You came to rescue me. I thought the teleporter broke into pieces and I'd be stuck on this planet by myself. Forever. Yes, when we traveled through the teleporter, the fuel cell created too much energy, which caused it to break into pieces. Let's hurry up and start rebuilding the teleporter. We don't have much time. You start rebuilding the teleporter. I'm going to get the fuel cell.
get back. Oh no. That's it. The magma is rising. We must get out of here. I think I can help you. Wait here. Based on the magma level, we still have around 15 minutes. Where are you going, Ray? The crystals. The crystals? Back home. I fixed the fuel cell. I'm ready. Thank you, team, for all of your hard work. And thank you, too. Oh, my God. 